Hey everyone, it's Kim here with Winey Women. I'm doing a wine review this afternoon. Um, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day here in Beaverton. The sun is out. Um, hopefully the ground will start drying out. Um, it's a very big transition from Colorado to um, Oregon just because of all the rain and the lush and, and all that. And um, um, so it's very different. Um, hasn't bothered me too much. Uh, we get little breaks of sun here and there, so it's like, oh, give me the sun. But I know that spring and summer are coming and it's gonna be hugely sunny. Can't wait to sit down on the patio, drink the wine, and just enjoy myself here. Um, we're doing one tonight. It's quite a bit old. I. It's funny when I go look at um, wines now that I've had for a little while, I'm not sure how I've managed to hang on to them, but. Um, when you get a wine that's a 2008, um, this is a Balustrade 2008 Colorado Cabernet Franc. So this wine is six years old. Um, wow, kudos to me for saving that, I'm so excited. And I don't think I've saved it that long, maybe it's been a couple years, but they waited so long to release it that it seems like it's been a long time. But let me just tell you a little bit about Balustrade. It's one of my favorite Colorado um, wineries. And the reason is, is because their wines are super chewy, and why they're super chewy, well, some of them are, some of them are light, um, so it just depends, but their wines are all unfiltered, so you get that, uh, uh, like, coating and just meatiness and chewiness on some of the wines, and it's been so long since I've tried, um, I've tasted the wines, so I'm not exactly sure um, about this Cabernet Franc. Um, I'm assuming I liked it when I taste it, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Um, but who knows? But this wine, you can smell it all the way just as it's sitting here. You get huge plums. You get a little spice, a little green pepperish. And that's one of their characteristics, and I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, it's the greenness, the, I mean, like the stems and things like that. So it smells absolutely wonderful. It almost, it kind of reminds me of like a port style wine that just uh, tastes or smell. Let's go ahead and give it a plum color. It's it's dark and light at the same time. So it's a pretty deep ruby color, um, but let's give it a try. It's got really big legs, if that means anything to you. Like those legs are barely even coming down. So let's give it a taste. Lots of that pepper, like a black pepper spiciness on the tongue. Goes in very soft, hits you right in the mid-palate, finishes very soft. Um, this has been sitting open about 30 minutes, so it will probably open up even more as uh, I let it sit longer. It's thick, um, a little bit chewy, you get a little plum on that. So this wine, um, I'm waiting to, I'll wait to see what it does, but it's, I like it and it's going to go well with the uh, tri-tip that we're having tonight. Um, it's just, I'm just waiting for that meatiness to come through that I know these wines um, do. I am not sure if uh, Balustrade ships outside of Colorado. They might be one of the very few that do. Um, so you can go uh, to whinywomen.com, uh, click out the link I have on them, and check them out. Um, and the nice thing they do is they hand dip every one of their uh, wines, which is kind of cool. It's kind of their signature thing that they do. They have a beautiful facility, a uh, very they have event room. So they do weddings and uh, catering. And if you've never been to their tasting room, so I'm talking to you people in Colorado um, and anybody that visits the Denver areas where they're located, their uh, tasting room is simply amazing. It used to be like a, literally like a 600 by 600 square foot building. It was foot it was tiny it was like a bedroom uh, maybe a little bit bigger than maybe a master bedroom um, and now it's this huge facility they do huge events um, so check out their website I think you'll enjoy it if you get a chance to go um, tell them Kim sent you uh, Julie and John Balustrade will probably know who I am the rest of them I don't know I haven't seen them in a while but um, they'll know who I am um, and go go check them out and see and uh, tell me what you think about their wines um, um, like I said, they're all unfiltered, so it's a different style of wine. Um, so not everybody's going to um, prefer them over other wines, but you got to give it a try and check it out. So until next time, you guys have a great evening. Cheers.